This year, let us see how to paint simple waterfall. Painting waterfall might be a little challenging if you represent water that is motion. To get the sense of motion, paint the falling water by blurring the edges. This will make it a nice eye grabber. And let us see. The brushes I have used here is flat brush size 2, uh, sorry, 4, 8, and 10. And uh, round brush size 2 and 4. And a uh, fan brush. Colors I have used here is titanium white, ultramarine blue and black. First, just try to create a quick value and composition study of painting on sketching paper. A simple thumbnail sketch is perfect to get your idea on paper and put together all of the elements of painting. And it will give you a nice idea of how to finish and how to start your paintings and it will give you an all of all all over our idea and uh, here i have started without a sketch uh, because i had a little bit of idea like how to begin and how to finish this and uh, but i would suggest uh, to uh, create a thumbnail sketch prior to uh, paint uh, so that uh, so that it is easier for a beginner and here if you see i have used a fan brush and uh, just begin with a straight line uh, where one point and it gives you a, an appearance of uh, waterfall started flowing like uh, just from it started from one point to point and it is started flowing and uh, always make sure softly pull down your brushes and uh, by leaving a very soft strokes so that it gives you a flowing appearance and uh, one more thing as you seen here fan brush alone cannot make you a better strokes so that you can use uh, a flat brush uh, also and i have used here flat brush size 11 to soften the uh, soften the edges and um, I have used titanium white for highlighting and uh, ultramarine blue for shadowing and always uh, blur the edges and have a smooth a smooth appearance and, and the edges should be more diffused towards the bottom of the waterfall and wherever the waterfall is needed you can try painting like this.
to paint the water level down you can use white and ultramarine blue if you see there is always already a ba black background so uh, there is no need of another background water level should appear in dark so that uh, to give the reflections it is easy you can simply take the mixture of paint uh, like white and blue uh, by using a fan brush you can do the small sort of strokes as you uh, as similar to get the proper reflections as you see here and always make sure water levels meets the river reflections should made on proper white and blue so uh, it it should appear as a little more brighter and as comes down you can reduce the uh, white and uh, increase the black will give you a gradual change of reflections uh, appearance and also uh, if you see adding mist where the waterfalls meets the river will also enhance the illusion of water in motion to give misty appearance i have used a mixture of blue and white i have used a round blending brush here you can done stippling and soften the edges with this blending br uh, brush and it will give you a misty appearance see some black areas next to the waterfalls without anything let's fill with some rocks and uh, for rocks i have used here is one like brown yellow ochre and black if you see you need not paint a full rock for a prominent appearance and you can give it just smooth highlighting with drop it just gives you an appearance of that rocks appeared in darkness
to paint the rocks so initially you have a uh, thumbnail sketch uh, i mean a sketch with a uh, black paint and uh, how the rock should appear and uh, just uh, later you can use one like brown and yellow ochre uh, for just shadowing purpose and again uh, you can dilute with a little bit of white titanium white for highlighting so that it will give you a realistic rock <music> paint the trees i have used permanent rose and black for the trees you can reuse round brush here because uh, this tree size is not so big uh, trunks also you can do the same way as you see here
things I have used permanent rose. Uh, initially, permanent rose just touched with little black, and I have done dabbing here with an old flat brush size four. Now, uh, wherever you need the leaves, you can do the dabbing as uh, uh, it should match with the trunk size, or it give you or uh, or it won't give you a proper appearance. And make sure it is not so crowded and dab everywhere wherever you need the leaves and uh, also for highlighting purpose you can add little bit of white with the earlier mixture of permanent rose and black and uh, can use for highlighting how we can do the highlighting just use this paint and dab over wherever you have done dabbing earlier it will give you a nice highlight similar way you can paint the trees wherever you want
you like this video it's a simple waterfall scenery, uh, scenery and you can everybody can try this and uh, hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video please uh, subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get up to date and uh, let us see the next time and bye bye